Welcome back viewers, Squad Fighter 343 here. In this section we'll cover the lighting up of the chosen smoke. Okay, you made your cut to draw from now, now it's time to light up. I once read a line from a Cigar Affectionado article. The gentleman quoted, If you kiss a cigar, it will kiss you back. If you treat it like a dog, it will turn around and bite you. That's old times. In this century, we're going with the Fifty Shades of Grey style. Prepping the cigar is like foreplay. So take your time and do it right. And we know all know how important that is. Secondly, when you're smoking that stogie, you're enjoying it to the fullest. So treat it like you're making passionate love, nice and slow. Puffing hard like a wild person will push too much air through the cigar, making it hot. This can ruin your smoke. For some, not a bad thing when you're in the saddle, but for cigars, slow and gentle puffs would be preferred than the latter. When lighting cigars, there are two types of flames. The candle flame and the butane torch flame. A candle flame usually produced by a match or a butane lighter. It's a more delicate lighting procedure. When it comes to matches, you want to use a stick match made of wood, not a paper match. Paper matches are made with sulfur that is used to keep the match burning. In the midst of the sulfur dioxide, it's not a pleasant tasting odor, and you definitely don't want to ruin your cigar's flavor. Water matches are not treated with sulfur, but be cautious. Wait till the flame ignites the whole head of the match before bringing it to the, to the foot of the cigar. Also, as with any other flame, try to avoid the flame from directly hitting the foot of the cigar. Let the radiant heat be your ignition source. You might have heard of the term toasting the foot of the cigar. This refers to the singeing of the foot which would cause the tobacco to glow. So here's what you want to do. You want to position the foot above the flame at an angle, allowing a tiny black ring to form around the end of the wrap. Gently rotate the cigar and use the radiant heat from the tip of the flame to toast the end of the cigar. Then gently blow at the foot and you're going to see a nice tobacco glow. You should be lit by then. Fluid filled lighters produce a candle flame such as Zippos, which have been uh, famous since World War II. But they have a distinct problem. That lighter fluid smells and can destroy your cigar's flavor. But Zippo came to the rescue and created one Zippo for our cigars. It's called the Zippo Blue. There are assorted butane torch lighters in the market, some single flame, double, triple, and quad flames. As mentioned earlier, many with accessories such as cutters and bullet punches. Great for lighting up in the wind. Butane burns clean and has no odor. Also, use a premium quality, five times refined butane gas. All right, the only downside is that it can be overbearing when using these torches. They can produce a flame, and if you're not paying attention, you can overheat that cigar. After a little experience, you'll get more control. As with the candle flame procedure, gently toast your foot. Then take a few puffs, rotate the cigar, and enjoy. It is a quick light and, and the preferred, especially in the outdoor world when the wind and candle flames don't work together. Some people claim that the only proper implement for lighting up a cigar is a cedar spill. A cedar spill is a long thin strip of Spanish cedar which is first lit and then used to turn to light the cigar. You will typically season use that fancy cigar then is rather elegant way to light the stogie, but not all the practical ways in the outside areas. There is one more procedure I'd like to show you. Some might have seen or read about it before, but for the people that haven't seen it, it's called the three match method. This is a traditional old school method. This lighting procedure is not for the impatient because it takes a few minutes. So if you have nothing to do but time on your hands and you've got the beverage of your choice close by, treat yourself to tradition. Lay out your much needed essentials. A cigar of choice, three nice long wooden matches, a cutting tool, and a drink of your choice. Once you've got all these lined up, the rest is gravy. This method doesn't follow the regular procedure where you would prepare your cigar by cutting it before you start lighting and drawing. We are going to do this procedure without cutting or piercing the head. This will be the last step. Light your first match and let the head of the match ignite completely. Then while rotating the cigar, work the flame and evenly toast the foot. When that match dies out, light your second match and continue the same procedure, rotating your cigar and 
using the rating heat to toast the end. Once your second match is depleted, go to your third match. Now you're working on a third match, you're almost there, continue the procedure. Notice the singeing at the foot. Believe it or not, your cigar is practically lit and with a nice even burn. When third match toasting is done, blow at the foot, check out your glow on your tobacco. Now it's time to get a cut or a punch and make your cut. Do it at the head of the cigar, take a couple of gentle puffs, draw on the smoke, and voila, your smoke is lit and ready to smoke. Now for the reason for not punching or cutting the head of the cigar, the logic behind, as told by the old school experts, is no fumes from the lighting source can contaminate the flavor of that blend. Makes sense. Once again, old school advice on the money. Experience teaches us again. Remember, all of these are suggestions. You may have your own traditional way, so be it. The main point is to relax and enjoy your stogie. This concludes our videos on cigar preparation and lighting up. Hope you enjoyed it. Next video will be coming real soon. It will be a three-part of the cigar series. Subject's going to be cigar and spirit pairing. Thanks again. Remember to subscribe if you like. Squad Father 343 reminding all of you to be safe out there. Take care of yourself.